What's up everybody and welcome to the Architecture Tutor. Today we're looking in Revit how to create panel materials. So custom panel materials, whether they be exterior or interior panels. So on the exterior it might be something like a Cort 10 or a composite aluminium paneling system or internal sort of uh, interior timber paneling system. Uh, before we start, if you want to leave any comments, like, subscribe, if you want to see more videos like this, um, but also any suggestions or comments or questions, please leave those below and I can, uh, we can get to those. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is set up a basic building, so it's basically four walls. Uh, then we're going to find a good seamless texture on mine. Then we're going to create a new material within Revit. We're going to set the appearance within that material, so basically how it appears in realistic views or in renders. Then we're going to set the graphics or the fill patterns, so the surface patterns, how it appears in like hidden line views and elevations. Then we're going to align the appearance to the graphics, so make sure that uh, each of those patterns, the render pattern and the fill pattern, are aligned. Then we're going to apply the material. I'm going to show you a couple of ways to quickly and easily apply a material to a wall. And the last thing we're going to do is align that material to our walls to make sure that it's exactly in the location that we want it. Sometimes it's a little bit off. So the first thing we're going to do is just model four basic walls. So we're going to come over and double click our floor plan level one and wall drop down architectural. And I'm going to set the height here to level two. And I'm going to click the rectangle and the rest of the settings we're going to leave, we're just going to draw a generic 200 mil wall in this case. Fine like that, hit escape and if we hit our 3D view. So next we're ready to find our material so we'll go to Google and we can do a search for something like aluminium panel cladding seamless texture. Now this seamless texture part is quite important and all it's going to do is hopefully give us some options where we can use an image and repeat it over and over and it's not going to appear like a tile. We're not going to see where each of those tiles are joining. It's going to be hopefully seamless and blending quite naturally. And if we search images, and we can see a bunch of different options here and I'll choose this option here. I think that's kind of what we're after. If I right click and go view image, and expand. We can see that this is kind of it. So you can see it's a full panel. It's not cutting anything sort of off halfway, and it's starting a new panel on the other side. And same with the top and the bottom. So hopefully, when we tile these and repeat these over and over, it'll look uh, quite uniform and quite natural. Um, also, the resolution's not too bad. We can see it's quite big and quite detailed. Um, obviously, the bigger the better, and the more panels you can get within your image, the better it is again. But Sometimes we're quite limited, so we need to work with what we got. But that's pretty much it. Then you can right click, save this image onto your desktop, and then go back into Revit. And we're going to set up that material now. So we'll go to the Manage tab, hit Materials, and we're going to create a new material by coming down here and clicking Create New Material. First thing I'm going to do is rename this material. So right click, rename, and I'll give it a dash so it appears at the top of our list. And I'm going to call it aluminium panels. So it's a new material set up. And the first thing we're going to do is set our appearance. So come in here, we can see that there's currently no image selected. So I want to just click in here and navigate to the image that we've downloaded. So if I show this as thumbnails, we can see that's the image that we had a look at earlier on Google. Go open. And I'm just going to expand this by dragging this down a little bit and click this little drop down to change the scene to a wall just to get a bit of a look at the scale. So we can see the scale there is quite off and we just need to adjust that. And we can do that by clicking the image down here and adjusting the scale down in this section. So if we look at the image here, the little sample, we can see that it's uh, 304 high by 304 mil wide and we've only got one, two panels high and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven panels wide. So we just want to adjust that and scale that up so that it's a more realistic kind of size. Um, we come down here to scale, we'll keep this, make sure that this is clicked on, so to lock the aspect ratio, keep it all proportional. And then we're going to just adjust the height. So I'm going to select this here and make that height four meters. In the tab, And it's also adjusted the width to four meters. So Basically, there's going to be seven panels every four meters across and two panels high every four meters uh, vertically. So we'll hit done there. And before we finish up in here, we just want to set the bump. So we'll come down to bump, tick this on, and pick the same image in this case. 
to open and make the same adjustment here to the scale. So select this and go four meters and we'll update that to four meters, hit done. And that's pretty much all we need to worry about here in the appearance tab. You can obviously uh, scale this back down. We can obviously adjust uh, the amount of bump and play around with the image a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to leave that for now. It seems to be appearing pretty okay. So we're going to come over to the graphics tab. And in here, we're going to set our surface pattern. So this pattern up here, we're going to click in here and set a surface pattern for how this is going to appear in elevation where we're set to shaded mode or hidden line mode. And hit model. We'll need to create a new fill pattern. And I'll call that aluminium panels and come down to here and click crosshatch and set the line angle to zero so that it's pretty much square on. And then the first one is the horizontal line. So our panels were two meters high. We had two panels in four meters. So we can just type in 2000 mil in here. And then our line spacing for the horizontal. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that was. So what I can do is use a formula. So equals, and we know that it was four meters across and that there were seven panels. So I can do four meters divided by seven and hit OK. And Revit's going to take care of the maths there. And I can hit OK again and hit OK again here. And that's pretty much it for setting up the basics of the material. Now we're ready to apply that material. We can do that one of two ways. So the first thing we can do is uh, change the wall type. So if we select a material like this, and we'll hit tab and click to select all four. We can click edit type to edit this wall type then edit structure and we can insert a layer and click up to bring this on the outside and then we can set this uh, change the properties of this material here or this layer so we can change the structure to say finish pick the three dots here for material and select our aluminium panels okay and then we can give it a thickness so let's just say 20 mil as an example click ok click ok and there we go, we can see that material has now been applied to all of our walls. If I just orbit around here, you can see that. If we change the visual style to realistic, we can see also that texture has also been applied to these walls. So that's the first way to apply materials to walls, basically. Um, I'm going to just tab to select all these walls, and I'm going to change it to, to this generic 300, which doesn't have that material applied to So you can see now it's just a generic material. So another way to apply materials is by using the paint tool. And with the paint tool, we don't actually need to edit the wall type at all. And it can give us a little bit more flexibility to the actual surfaces that we are actually applying it to. We can paint different surfaces however we like. So we can come up to the Modify tab and click the Paint tool. And then we can select from all our materials currently loaded in our project. So I'll click this aluminium panels. And then you'll notice as I hover over any wall that it highlights at blue. And I can just click to apply that material. Same here. Click to apply. I could even go internally and apply materials. I can orbit around and pick to apply there also. And click again. So that's pretty much all four of our external walls applied. You can hit done. If we wanted to remove a material that's been painted, we can click this little drop down, click remove paint, and then hover over a face, click, and it removes and restores it back to uh, the material as per the wall type. Hit escape there. Um, the last thing we want to do is align our material. So, so far we've created a new material and applied it, but we can see if we look in this corner, for example, it might not be perfectly aligned the way we want it. We've got this sort of half panel or quarter panel in here, and same on this side, and we might want a full panel to start on this side and then run across out that way and then same from here starting from this corner full panel running out that way and the way we align that is quite simple we can just change our view style back to say hidden line just so we can see these this fill pattern then we can come up to the modify tab and click align and then we can pick an edge to align to so let's say this face and then pick any one of these lines and you'll notice that that shifts that wall across and we'll do the same for this left wall here so if we pick this face here and then pick one of these lines it aligns that with the uh, with that corner with the edge of the wall hit escape zoom out you know if I change this now from hidden line to realistic the actual panel itself the render panel or our image has aligned with it so that's pretty much behaving perfectly as we wanted it to so that's pretty much it that's how you can apply a panel material 
to pretty much any wall in Revit, both externally and internally. Um, of course, you can play around with that so you can find different images online, looking ideally for a seamless texture. Um, again, the bigger the better and the more detail the better. Uh, but then apply that with a fill pattern, adjusting the appearance and then aligning it so that it appears correctly and exactly where you want it in all your views regardless of the visual style. Hope that was helpful. If so, please subscribe for more videos like this and leave any comments or questions below. And have a great day. Thanks.